the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house and stood over the cherubims. And the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth and in my sight. When they were out, the wheels were also beside them, and everyone stood at the door of the east gate. And so you get this picture of the Lord being in charge of this three and a half years. And the Lord right now, as the little horn is rising, the Lord is calling his court together. His court, his court of judgment, his court of perfect judgment. And I just thought this gave me so much peace as I was reading it. So I wanted to remind everyone that I said that things, when they happen, they're going to happen fast. So things are happening fast and the persecution, uh, things are going to turn. It'll be from day to night. One day you're not persecuted, the next day you are. I've given so many words about that. And also, um, we've seen with the suppression of our voice and people being persecuted right now for being Trump supporters, losing their jobs, um, trying to lose their diplomas, um, losing their funding, um, losing their Twitter accounts, um, um, Parler being taken down, 20 million followers. So we are already seeing the persecution started. But remember, I said it's going to happen fast. It's going to happen fast. Stay in your safe zone. Get in a safe zone. Um, and I really hope you'll appreciate um, the word in the video that the Lord has given to me um, today. So I uh, appreciate you tuning in. And stay strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Also, also I had mentioned um, that, you know, that Trump might have had to go through a crucifixion experience, which could be what he's experiencing, which... After the crucifixion, um, the resurrection is much more powerful. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. I also really have a lot of respect, you know, for Trump um, because of while they were crucifying him in the house, all those nasty words trying to impeach him, he was joining with Israel to bomb Syria and the Iranian enemies. So just making every moment count, standing with Israel, I think he's awesome. And I really believe this is what the Lord has planned. And he will be more powerful after this crucifixion. So, so um, I hate to have to talk about this, but it's really important. Uh, and my spirit was so grieved and so troubled and um, like Daniel in chapter 7 where he talks about having the night visions of the fourth beast. Um, we know that beast kingdom is on the rise and the little horn is on the rise. The one that will be speaking the great blasphemies and which we also call the anti-messiah or the Antichrist. I want to read a little bit of chapter 7 of Daniel, um, but one thing I never noticed before in chapter 7 was how much it talks about the Ancient of Days, that the Lord um, is the Ancient of Days, and he's bringing his council together. He's calling the court. So um, when you think of this, it's the Lord, of course, is in charge. And the Lord is calling the same time that the little horn is rising up to take over for three and a half years of tribulation. The Lord, the Ancient of Days, whose, whose flames are as fire and his hair is white as snow, like he is calling his court together to judge them. So that's just so exciting. And it made me think of a vision I had in 2005 where I had a horrible night, kind of like last night, where I saw a vision of the beast with the ten horns and the seven heads coming out of the sea. And they were in New York City. And then I, the next day, the the minister of um, the president of Iran was speaking about wiping out Iran. And in my vision, I saw the little horn coming out of the beast. And then the Lord was giving me a picture of the little horn being a person with these great blasphemies and whatever. But I forgot in that night vision I had and that warfare that night that was so intense. I forgot it was the Ancient of Days, like the Ancient of Days came in my warfare, in my vision, and um, the Ancient of Days fought against the Little Horn. 
And um, it was exactly as he's described in Daniel 7, um, exactly how he's described. So I want to just read a few of these um, Daniel, out of Daniel 7. So I saw in my night vision, uh, behold, the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea, and the four great beasts came up from the sea, one diverse from another. And he goes about to talk about the beast kingdoms that have already been. And then he sees the fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, strong exceedingly with great iron teeth, and it devoured and break into pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts before. And then he considers the horns and then the little horn. Um, and in this little horn that came out of the beast were like the eyes of a man in a mouth speaking great blasphemies. And then in nine, I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool, and his throne was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands and thousands ministered to him, and ten thousand and ten thousand stood before him. And the judgment was set, and the books were opened. And so you get this picture of the Lord being in charge of this three and a half years. And the Lord right now, as the little horn is rising, the Lord is calling his court together. His court. His court of judgment. His court of perfect judgment. And I just thought this gave me so much peace as I was reading it today. And it goes on. And I beheld the voice of the great words of the horn that spake. And, and um, until his body was destroyed and gone into the flame. And then it talks about the rest of the beast kingdom prolonging a little longer. And then I see in the night visions, Daniel goes on. And behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him. So you get a picture of Jesus coming on the clouds and coming before the ancient of days. And there was given to the Son of Man the dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom shall not pass away and never be destroyed. And Daniel was grieved in his spirit as he was going through this. And so... Then the Lord was telling him about the beast and, and about the little horn. Um, and the uh, so the saints of God, like we are with the ancient of days and we are with the son of man and we will sit in judgment. But that is not until the end of the days when the beast has been uh, devoured by the Lord. Um, until that time, as the little horn is rising up, and the reason I'm making this video is because I really believe that by, um, well, the, what the Lord said to me was the minute that President Trump leaves office, leaves the White House, the beast kingdom has taken over our government. So we are not the Antichrist, and America's not the Antichrist, and our government's not the Antichrist, but we will, the, the ones that are of the Antichrist are, will be part of the beast system. So that beast system is already in our house and Senate, and as soon as Biden takes over, there will be, um, the beast system has now established its, its foothold in our nation. Now, I've said all my end-time videos that there is that you know millions of saints here, and there will be uh, so much safety, but there also will be persecution, and we really need to get our handle on this, um, which is a greedy, what you know, which is hard. But I've been talking about it, and others are talking about the shaking. I had the word about the shaking, the great shaking still coming. Um, January around January 1st and I know Dana Coverstone had a dream about that on the 9th and um, <clears throat> so anyway to go on a little bit more about this um, it talks again about the ancient of days and the time um, will come when we possess the kingdom 
But until then, the little horn makes war with the saints and prevails against them. He also wears out the saints. Um, so I feel the Lord, you know, is just calling me to say that you just have to take cover, uh, be spiritually prepared. Um, the ordained time of the Antichrist kingdom on the earth is the Lord's ordained time, and he has called the courts together. So what I'm trying to say is the Lord is in charge of this. He, he has called his court together, and the, he, as the little horn, makes war with us. The Lord will be making war with the little horn and the Lord will be making war with the beast kingdom and they will be afraid and they will be running. Their hearts will be failing them for fear at the terrible day of the Lord. So as we have this terrible and great day of the Lord and we are also in a healthy fear of that we are under his love and his blood and we will not be feeling that war, he is not making war with us. So this um, was just so exciting to me as I was thinking about this. But because I believe we are approaching that three and a half year, 1260 day, 42 month mark, sometime around Passover in 2021, because I believe we're already in the last seven and we were already almost to the middle I believe by the end of March, we will see an abomination um, or the abomination's idol sitting in Israel, in Jerusalem. And we know that their government is under a great change and falling apart. And, and we don't know who will, uh, will be seated there yet. But we know that the Antichrist comes from the Middle East. And when the WAQF trampled on the Temple Mount, which I said may have been the starting of the counting of the 230, 300 days, 2,300 days, that's in Daniel 8, um, Jordan controls the WAQF, and Jordan is deeply involved in the deep state. And so right now we are, as the beast kingdom is coming together, literally coming together before our eyes, we're waiting to see that little horn subdue three nations. So what what three nations is that going to be? And so anyway, I'm just saying that this day of darkness, there's a day of darkness in our land. And I believe that that will be um, basically starting tomorrow and with this inauguration. And I was talking about one of our sisters who had a dream that literally when Biden took office, the Antichrist um, was in place. Now, she believes it's Obama, and Obama and Biden, you know, are connected. Um, I don't know that. I just believe that we are, that that they are part of that beast system. But just imagine the Ancient of Days, the Ancient of Days calling his court. And as they are lining up, as those who have not chosen him and are leading and involved in the beast kingdom, as they're lining up, the Ancient of Days is lining up to make war with them. So I'm just saying as we are persecuted and we are martyred and we are suffering, that the Ancient of Days, as the little horn is making war with us, the Ancient of Days is making war with the beast. And so you need to be prepared, brothers and sisters. I feel, I watch these things and of the common views um, in the body of Christ. And two of the strongest things that come out are the... Um, the kingdom on earth that we are going to be rising up as saints and our light will be shining and we'll be taking over because of our dominion. But we're not going to see that on the earth. We are not going to see that on the earth. We are not going to see that on the earth, not until the millennium. So we are going to be rising up in light and we're going to be having light and power. But at the same time, we are going to be persecuted. We are not going to have dominion on the earth. We are not going to have the kingdoms of the world that is going to be taken over by the Antichrist system. So the other prevailing uh, message is that we will be raptured out before that we have any trouble. And again, I've said over and over, I hope that happens, but it's not biblical to me. I can't see that in the Bible. 
And so I do believe we'll have safe zones. I will believe we'll have chambers that were hidden. I believe we'll be in um, the wilderness and fed and nurtured um, by the earth. The earth helps the women and the eagle protects the woman. Um, but anyway, that is another prevailing thought. So I'm continually, you know, just preparing you for hard things because then if it's not, yay, <laughs> then it's even better. But, you know, all over the globe, um, our Christian brothers and sisters are suffering. And this is now the time that we will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives unto death. So I just want you to be prepared. Chuck Pierce also had a word about leaving the swamp. I don't think it's time to fight that beast once it comes into play. I think we need to create our own underground or our own separate system. That's why the Lord was saying, uh, welcome division. Welcome division. He's bringing division. He's bringing a sword. We may end up with two nations. Uh, I don't know. I heard Texas was going to secede from the nation. Um, Trump may very well lead an underground. That's why I always said don't count on another four years. So anyway, um, I hope this helps you. I hope it strengthens you. Um, I'm not sure what's all going to go down on Tuesday, um, but I do feel um, it's, a, it's very dark, like a very dark time. But we have to really understand and believe that the Lord is in control of the house. Um, he's in control of the earth and he's in control of the government and the government is upon his shoulders and the temple of my messiah the new jerusalem of god